We have state of the economy and estimated returns for stock A and stock B. And we want to calculate expected return. That's the longhand way. Click to collapse the group. Then we're going to use the same data to calculate standard deviation, a measure of risk for each stock. Well, to get the expected return, we simply have to multiply each estimated return times the probability and add equals. Now I'm going to highlight all of these times the probability of the economic state. 0.45 will be multiplied by each one of these. 0.5 times each one of the returns in this row. I want to add the values for each column and spill the results. So we use by call, because we want to add this column and this column after the multiplication. We simply use function sum, or add a lambda, and control enter. There's the expected return for each one of the stocks, giving these various estimations for state of the economy. But now we need to calculate standard deviation. Well, we're going to take the particular returns, and we have to subtract the mean or the expected return for each one of those, close parentheses. Those give us the deviations, but we need to square them and then multiply times the probabilities. Now, this will return a rectangular range, but of course, we need a total for each one of the assets. So we are going to use by call again. Comma, and when I put sum in the function argument, control enter, that gives us variance. But we need to F2 undo that square using the square root function to get to standard deviation. And you're not going to be, believe this. We're going to use by call again, come to the end, comma, and I'm looking through this list and I do not see square root. But you've got to be kidding me. Square root, I just type the name of the function, even though it isn't in that list. Close parentheses and Control Enter. That worked. Look at that up there. I have never seen this before using a function that's not expressly in the list, but I used it in the second argument of by call, or by row for that matter, and bam, it worked like a charm. Now we have spilled both expected return and standard deviation for each one of the stocks.